Hi everyone, in this problem we're given a differential equation and we're given one of the solutions and we're being asked to find a second solution using reduction of order. So there's a formula we can use, but before we use it, uh, we should always do a mental check and make sure that this is written in standard form. So the standard form that we want to write it in is the following. We want to write this as y double prime plus p of x times y prime plus let's say q of x times y equals zero. So we want to write it in this form. So you'll notice right away that um, p of x is missing because y prime is missing. That means that p of x must be equal to zero in this problem. This is super important. So absolutely key to notice that that's the case. All right, now let's go ahead and use the formula. So y sub two is equal to y sub one of x times the integral. Uh, so in the numerator, we have e to the minus integral big P of x dx. Now you see why the big P was important, because we, we need to actually plug it in over. And then on the bottom, we have y sub 1 of x. And this whole thing here is squared. And then we have our dx. OK, so this is equal to. So the cosine of 4x, that's going to be our y sub 1. And then we have the integral of. Big P is 0, so this is just e to the 0 dx over. And then um, it'll be cosine squared of 4x. And then we have our dx. All right, good stuff. So this is equal to the cosine of 4x. Now, normally when we integrate this stuff, we ignore the constant. So like if you integrate zero, you're just gonna get a constant. So, um, let's, it'll, so it'll be e to a constant, which is just a constant, right? It's just gonna be some constant. So there's no loss uh, in our case if we let it be zero. Like if we let c be equal to zero, it's just going to give us one, which is also a constant, and it just happens to be a nicer one. So let's just pretend it's zero, and so we'll get one. Again, we ignore constants always, so really, uh, if you wanted to put it there, you could. You could, you could have the e to the c, but again, if you let c be equal to zero, you, you get a better constant, so I think that's the way to go. So cosine squared of 4x dx. This so is equal to the cosine of 4x times, and then this is secant squared of 4x dx. All right, so uh, what's a function whose uh, derivative is uh, secant squared? Tangent, right? The derivative of tangent is uh, secant squared. So when you integrate secant squared, you get tangent. But there's a 4 here, so we just have to divide by 4. So this will be cosine of 4x times tangent of 4x, and we'll divide by 4. And don't worry about the plus c. So this is really um, sine over cosine. So this is 1 fourth cosine of 4x times sine of 4x over cosine of 4x. So these cancel. So you end up with 1 fourth sine of 4x. And the one fourth again, it's negligible. It's just a constant. It doesn't really matter uh, because you know if differentiation is linear. So like if sine four x is a solution, so is one fourth sine x. So we can drop the one fourth and just say the other solution is sine of four x, and that would be the final answer.